I'm Michael Brown here from MichaelSBrown.com, and in this tutorial video, what I'm going to show you how to how to do is to create your very own WordPress uh, menu, how to change it, and create your own menu so you don't have to just show what your theme wants to show your audience. And what do I what I mean by this is certain themes will want to show your pages or categories up top. Well, if you don't want to show those pages or categories. Unless you make your own custom menu, you don't have much of a choice. You have to show what the theme will allow uh, you to show up in the um, up in the top nav bar area. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change that. So if you don't want categories here, if you don't want certain pages here, I'm going to show you how to set this all up. All you need to do is first go into your uh, WordPress dashboard. And from inside your dashboard, we need to go to Appearance. If you go to Appearance, select Menus. This will bring you to this page that looks like this. Okay, nothing on it yet. What we need to do is first, we need to create a menu name. So in this little area that says Menu Name, click, type in something. I'm, gonna, I'm going to call mine Top Menu. Okay, you could call these menu one or menu two, depending on how many menus you can set up. Uh, after you type in a name for your menu, simply click create menu. And that's going to update. And now you have a menu outline ready. Um, over here, you'll be able to see it is say theme locations. And it will say, you know, your theme supports one menu or your theme supports two menus. Uh, some support three menus, uh, but you probably will never need to use more than one menu. Now, I like themes that typically have two menus because then I can create a, um, like a, a sidebar widget that is different than what I'm going to put it in the top bar. But even just one menu will help you out greatly, and I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, so what you can do from here, just make sure you, for header menu, uh, which is what we're going to set up here, make sure you select top menu or the menu you just created and click save. So that's now saved and synced together. And then what you can do, you can start adding stuff to this menu. Now the way you can do this, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can select custom links that you want to show up in your header. You can select current pages that you've already created or current categories. Okay, so if you want, let's say we want a category to show up in the top menu. We'll select that category and click Add to Menu. Okay, so we now have that added to the menu. Let's say we want this contact page that we, that we have created to show up in the top menu. We'll click Add to Menu. And you'll see these going on here. But let's say we want some individual posts to show up in the uh, nav menu that we're setting up. Well, let's do this, okay? This allows us to put custom links in here and give them a label. So what you'll want to do is go find the post that you want up in your top nav menu. And I'll add this how to add a video to your blog post. And what you need to do, you just uh, find the link, grab the URL by going up to your um, URL here in your browser. Go up there, and just left click on it, and then right click and copy. Okay, and then go back into your menu, into the dashboard where you were at, and paste that URL in right there. And we'll give this a, a, a title because you don't need, you don't want the whole big title. You don't want 20, wor 20 words uh, for a link up in your nav menu. Let's call this um, add a video. Okay, and we'll click, and then all you do after that, you just click Add to Menu, and that will show up on there. Uh, let's add one more here for now, just so I can show you how this looks and how to do this. Uh, I'm going to go back to my blog, and I'm going to find another, let's do my very first blog post. Again, once you find it, the one you want to add, go up to your browser, go up to the top browser bar, left click and then right click, copy. Okay, go back into your uh, dashboard, into your menu. Paste that URL in. Let's create a label. Uh, we'll call this make your first 
post, okay? Because we want to shorten it as much as possible. And then click Add to Menu. Now, once you have a, uh, different posts, pages, categories, whatever you want added to the menu, you can mix this up a little bit. Okay, if you want your contact me page to show at the end, you can do that. If you want this one to show up in the front, okay, we can just arrange it the way we want. And after you arrange it the way you want it to show up, and it's going to show up in the order from left to right on your blog, uh, then we can go ahead and click Save Menu. Okay, once this saves, we can then go and take a look at our website. So let's go ahead and go take a look at the front of our blog. And there we go. I now have the custom menu created. There's my make your first post. Uh, post. And then here's add a video. Here's my category. Okay, because I, if I wanted my category to show up in the top nav bar. And my contact me page. So if now if someone were to click one of these. Okay, we'll click contact me. There we go. It takes them right to my contact me page. That's all you need to do to get this custom navigation set up at the top of your blog. Now, I want to show you one other thing because we can actually make this do some other really cool stuff. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you how you can um, make this a drop down uh, menu. Okay, it's real simple to do. Let's go back into our menus area. And from your menus area, we will now make make uh, some of this drop down. So what we'll do, uh, we'll take this add a uh, video, and let's put this under make your first post. Okay, all you need to do is just move it to where it clicks in the place there uh, with kind of an indention. That means it's basically this is a parent for this. So this is like a parent category now for this for this post and let me show you what happens when we save our menu from this okay so we'll save the menu let's go take a look now okay now you see that it doesn't say add a video up here anymore so it should now be right under here okay so now what we've done is we've just basically um, now we're making a drop down menu for different for different various categories that you want to put up here. So uh, it makes it easy if you have a, a large website and you want people to be able to navigate most of your website from like a nav menu and not have to really search around for things. Um, again, you know, or I know in uh, one of my previous videos I mentioned if you had like a pet care site. And you had several posts on, uh, you know, different tips for bathing your cat. Uh, let's say, you know, um, you had a maybe a frequently asked questions area for uh, bathing tips. So, like, maybe cat bathing FAQ. And when they highlight the cat bathing FAQ um, from the menu, it would have a drop down to various different posts that you've created uh for that topic. So if you had like let's say you made a, an individual post for, you know, how much shampoo should you use on your cat when you when you bathe your cat. You could in the drop down menu, you could then make um you could simply make something like how much shampoo to use with a question mark and they can click it and go to that post from right there. So it's just a very easy way to use the menu. I know I'm not showing you a ton of links here. Um but that's how you can use it at my blog at michaelsbrown.com. I have a custom menu I set up here, which is just um, it highlights different things that I want people to see first when they come to my blog. Not all my posts are up, listed up here uh, by any means, but it's the main categories that I want people to uh, be able to go in and look at. So, for instance, if someone clicked on my tutorials area right here, it would take them into my stuff that I created about tutorials. Okay, I'm not using a, a drop-down nav menu on this. This is just, I they click the link and it takes them where I want them to go. But if you wanted to set up a drop-down uh, menu, again, like this, you can do that using your menus, just using it the way I showed you to do it. That's all you need to do to uh, create your custom uh, nav menu. And I'm going to show you real quick before we go, if you wanted to take this nav menu and actually add it over here to your widgets, we can do that as well. 
Okay, so if you just go into your widgets and you all you need to do is grab the custom menu widget, drag it to where you want it to go into your sidebar. You can give it a title. Okay, browse the site. Or you could do recommended links or, or whatever. Um, you would select the menu. Again, if your uh, theme happened to allow you to use two menus, you would have an option between two different menus here that you could use. So you could make your top nav uh, bar completely different from what you're going to put in your widget nav bar. Okay. All you need to do after you set it, just click Save. It's now saved. Let's go take a look over here. And there it is. All of, uh, of this is now added to uh, the browse the site. Now, if you're using a drop down, if you're, certain themes will, will mess this up, as you can see here, and you might have to get rid of that drop down uh, area altogether. Uh, and again, if you go into to menus and you decide you don't want to do a drop down, move it back. Okay, just move, move it from indention, move it back to its normal starting location and click Save Menu. We'll go back to the page, and now you can see it's no longer um, a drop-down, or in, in the case that we had here, it was messed up. It was sticking the, together there. Um, the best way to prevent this is if you do have a theme that only allows one menu, and you want a different custom menu up here, and a different custom menu over in your sidebar, get a theme that allows two custom menus. It's, it's that simple. It's a simple correction and never get too attached to one theme. I typically change my themes from time to time just uh, if I want a different look to my, to my site. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Use this to make a custom menu, a custom nav menu for your blog. And um, I will see you in another video. Again, I'm Michael Brown, Michael S. Brown from michaelsbrown.com and I will see you in another video.